Okay, so here's something that happens to me more often than I care to admit, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. You go to the grocery store and you go over budget no matter how many shopping lists you might have created. Well, we've got five kids at home, no, hey, it is tough to stay within any kind of budget. Yeah, but you our can't smart bring shopper, them along at all. <laughs> you know, Chelsea Davis, we need her help today. She's got five simple ways to lower that grocery bill no matter where you shop. Have you ever walked into the grocery store and everything looked amazing? Well, you were probably hungry and that's actually the worst time to shop. Instead, shop when you're full and head directly to the about to expire section. Use the food right away and save. Another option, produce boxes like Market on the Move. You can add 60 pounds of produce for $10. That's more than enough to share. Speaking of produce, you can grow your own herbs right in your windowsill. At the grocery store, you'll pay at least $3 for a pack that you may use twice. Spend that same amount on potted herbs and it should last more than six months. Use cash. Set a budget at the beginning of each pay period. Put the cash aside and when you're out, you'll have to get creative with what's left in the pantry. Finally, don't forget the rebate and grocery apps out there. Some of my favorites are Flip, Ibotta, and Retail Me Not. I have even more ways to lower your bill at abc15.com slash smartshopper. So Chelsea adds that you can plan meals based on the store ads, yep. and she gets those grocery ads early, and she's actually going to share her top deals with us uh, as soon as she gets them. Yeah, don't shop alone. Take the smart shopper figuratively with you every time. <laughs>